What's up, meatbags? It's the often imitated, never duplicated Tony EGD. Today, we're going to be talking about Soul Vars. It is a 2022 mobile game that has been ported to the PC and consoles. Now, it is the winner of Google Play Indie Games Festival 2022 Top 3 and the Toho Game Awards. It is also one of the best selling mobile games in Asia. You see, this is not a free-to-play game, rather it is a game that you can buy for a one-time purchase. Now, I myself did not have to purchase, I got a free review copy of the game for the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. So, how does this game fare when the jump to consoles happened? Well, first off, the UI has been updated and optimized for consoles and PCs, uh, so it is slightly different than it was on mobile easier to read easier to find the information you're going to need to find and this is a good thing because there is a lot of information that you need to digest in order to play this game now soul vars calls itself a deck building jrpg however that's not entirely true the deck building aspect of the game comes from the fact that you get different abilities depending on what items weapons are equipped to your characters Obviously, if you equip things like swords, you get slashes. If you equip guns, you get shots. But there's also elemental attacks like fire, ice, lightning. All your typical JRPG staples are in there. Uh, you use your attacks, depending on what you pick, to damage your foes. And if you pick an attack that they are weak to, you get an extra action point. So yeah, the system is very similar to the Persona series system, where you get an extra hit. Uh, if you use an attack that the enemy is weak. However, this game runs on action points. You start off with one action point at the beginning of the battle. And as you hit them with attacks they are weak to, you get extra action points. Uh, if you successfully block an attack, you get an extra action point. Uh, so there is some strategy uh, to the game. Early on, this is not really an issue because a lot of the enemies die uh, before needing to gather up as many action points as possible however later on when the difficulty spikes uh, you're gonna need to accumulate those action points uh, now again to the deck building aspect each item each weapon uh, each piece of equipment has a set number of attacks that you get access to when a fight begins you randomly draw five of these abilities and then you choose what you want to do to your enemy Helpfully, uh, you can see your enemy and what they are weak to. Uh, so it's not a guessing game. You don't have to remember, like in the Persona series, where you have to kind of remember what each enemy is weak to. Uh, no, the game just tells you outright, hey, this particular enemy is weak to fire, this one's weak to slash attacks, etc., uh, etc. Et then you just go from room to room, clearing out all the enemies, uh, talking to NPCs, getting side quests, uh, doing those uh, rinse and repeat over and over and over again until you hit a boss character in that particular area beat the boss character and move on to a new area pretty standard uh, affair and nothing too involved uh, other than the battle aspect like there's nothing too involved in the exploration aspect uh, there are some minor puzzles you know flip a switch this opens up a path in a different spot of the map nothing too complicated that includes the story because the story is bare bones basic you get dropped into the game and immediately you're off to the races. You are a freelance fighter uh, helping the government to rid the world of creatures called dominators. And really, for the most part, that's it. There's not much story beyond, hey, uh, you're working to defeat these monsters. Go and do your job. Now, on mobile, this is probably all the motivation you need. You hit it up in, you know, 15, 20 minute burst. Uh, you do few rooms clear some enemies out and then uh, you know go about your day come back later and uh, do it again however on console on PC uh, this loop is not as enticing right when you're able to sit there and play two three four hours at a time it gets a little repetitive uh, it's kind of a slog to get through uh, the game was definitely designed to be taken and uh, played in short burst now the Nintendo switch your Steam Deck, it's probably gonna alleviate this problem because you're able to take those on the go, you know, play some on the bus, play some 
in the waiting room, in the bathroom, uh, while you're taking care of your business, whatever floats your boat. Uh, you will eventually get some teammates, they'll help you out, they'll also get attacked, they'll also have their own uh, items to equip, weapons. There are specific items that you can equip and learn skills from. Uh, you can switch those among teammates so that they can learn skills from them. The systems get pretty complex. Uh, there's a lot of options, a lot of ways to play this, a lot of weapons and items to build out your attack deck. There's also lots of skills and abilities to learn. Uh, you're able to combine certain attacks uh, that creates more attacks, bigger attacks, stronger attacks. However, you have to unlock them first. You can't just do them uh, by doing the right combination. You actually have to have that ability unlocked in order for your character to access that ability. And like I said, that's really all there is to this game. And it's not fantastic. I mean, the game plays well. Uh, it looks beautiful. I love the pixel art. Uh, the music is awesome. But like I said, it is a slog to play this two, three hours, four hours at a time uh, sitting down at a console. There are plenty of other RPGs that are a lot better, have a lot more engaging stories uh, than this one in particular. And I think that's the biggest issue with this game, right? It, for a game that is a JRPG, uh, you're expecting a story, you're expecting something, some sort of motivation to keep you going, to keep you, you know, clearing out these dungeons, maybe some cutscenes, you know, some big set pieces, something. This game fails to deliver on all fronts. Now, this is an indie game. This was, I believe, a one-man project. Uh, so it is impressive for what it is. However, uh, as someone who is recommending or not recommending something to other people to buy i can't just use that as an excuse say well it's you know a one-man team you gotta understand uh it is what it is you know that doesn't really fly when i'm uh, discussing something that costs actual money now usually i tell you how much these things cost right up front but you'll notice i didn't do that in this case and there's a particular reason for that now you see this game is still available on both the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Now on Apple, you can get this game for $5. On Google Play, it's $5.49. No idea why there's a 50 cents difference, but there is. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, this is a pretty cheap game. Uh, pick it up. Uh, maybe it'll be worth playing you know, in between other games. And I feel you on that, except this game is $16.99 on both console and PC. Now I'm not sure if the UI changes are worth almost three times the amount. Actually, over three times the amount in cost, right? A $17 game on console, like I said, with a lackluster story, paper thin. Uh, I'm gonna have to say, don't pick this one. Pass on this one. Pass on the console version. Pass on the Steam version. $17 is quite the fee to pay for this game. I will say, if you can pick up the $5 or $5.50, you know, whether you're on Apple or on Google, you know, that's probably the better version to go for. Because uh, like I said, it'll be on your phone, it's mobile, the game is designed for mobile. That's where it came from, right? It is a mobile game at heart. There's nothing that you're going to be missing out on other than, like I said, the UI changes. Everything else is going to be there in the game, and you're going to get it for a, at a really, really reduced price. So to summarize, Solvars, a JRPG with a lackluster story, a fun and short burst, a lot cheaper if you pick up the mobile version of the game, which is the original version. But let me know what you think in the comments. Have you picked this one up? Does this look like something that you might pick up? Are you interested in this? Are you disappointed to hear that there's like no story in this game? Uh, let me know in the comments. And as always, love, peace, booty grease. I'm out this bitch.